Hey guys, I'm Rachel and welcome back to my channel. So today we are continuing the rainbow series with the final look using the color green. I know I did not upload for about a week or so, but I was experiencing some technical difficulties with my equipment. So I took some time to sort that out. And while I was doing that, my uncle passed away. It was just a lot. Um, I was mentally and physically exhausted because I am in the gym and I've been trying to uh, up my fitness so i was challenging myself trying to at least go six days a week i only made four days a week since i started and it has been physically exhausting like i'm constantly tired and i just had a lot going on so um i did take the time to just you know sort um things out um but we are back as they say we can start over every day but we are not starting over we are continuing i may however probably give the rainbow series a uh, a little break to jump into some other things and during the little break i decided you know i am going to upload on sundays definitely on sundays and sometimes wednesdays i mean my goal is to upload three days a week eventually i would get to that but before i've been uploading wednesdays and sundays always upload on sundays and sometimes on wednesdays so um yeah, so that's it. I know the intro is kind of long. I just felt like I had to explain what was going on with me. So this is going to be a voiceover because you can hear my, my background is very noisy. I'm very close to the highway and it's like it's on 100 right now. Also, because I want to um, continue watching Game of Thrones. Apparently, I should be watching Game of Thrones. And yeah, so that's what we're doing while I'm filming. Who else watches the Game of Thrones? Because I'm on season one and I somehow can't seem to get into it. I don't know i'm looking at it because i feel like everyone looks at it i'm like let me continue to look at it and see if i would get into it so comment down below if you look at game of thrones and if you feel like i should continue looking at game of thrones so anyway let's jump into this eye look like okay so i'm starting with my eyes today i just uh, primed my eyes with some concealer and I'm gonna blend that out so that it's even and then I'm gonna set that with some translucent powder so that it makes the blend of the shadow smoother. Now I'm starting with um, Kiss My Hass. This is from the Colourpop palette Just My Look. I think I used that in my last tutorial and I'm applying it in my transition area. And I'm using a Morphe M443 blending brush. I am going to do a more in-depth tutorial of brushes soon. I'm going to deepen up that color with Act Natural. I'm basically applying it in the same motion. I'm patting it and blending it windshield wiper motion. And when there's hardly anything on my brush, I'm using circular motions to diffuse it, um, to diffuse it more. Now I switch my brush to a smaller brush um, and I'm using the color Mobamba, Mobamba <laughs> and I'm applying it to the outer corners of my eyes and directly in my crease and I chose this brush because I want to be very precise with the color and I'm patting and blending into the first two transition shades that I used. I'm using my finger with the color 5050 and I'm applying that on my lids. I'm using my finger because truth being told your finger gets the um the shimmers and the pigments really nice the warmth of your skin just melts it onto your eyes so i'm just using my finger today and i'm pressing and patting that in now i'm taking this pigment from ColourPop and castling lights i think it's the bowl and i spritz my brush with some setting spray and i'm gonna tap that on the outer corners of my eyes over that first 50 50 color that i placed down and I'm not being too neat with it because I want to get a little bit in my crease as well. I like the look of a messy, messy looking eye, eye look. Then I'm taking another one. It's a lighter green. I think it's the fish. And I'm damping my brush again. And I'm applying that to the inner corners of my eyes. I'm basically doing the same thing. I'm pressing and patting and pulling and trying to get it into my crease that we have this effortless thing going on my favorite word word of the day effortless <laughs> then i'm going back with that brush and i'm just gonna blend the edges so that everything is diffused nicely i did one the other eye off camera and we're jumping straight into my face and i just primed with my ColourPop all star primer i'm liking this primer because it does twin one it blurs and it mattifies the areas where i do get oily 
and I'm going over that with some e.l.f. poreless putty primer because I've been experiencing some texture on the side of my face so that's just going to help it to stay smooth now I'm using my favorite foundation um, L'Oreal Freshwood this foundation is thebomb.com it's amazing it's so lightweight it covers well it's buildable it's everything you need in a foundation it's the perfect boyfriend for your face <laughs> so i'm just pressing that into my skin with my damp beauty sponge Then I'm using two concealers. I'm using NYX Can Stop, One Stop, and Catrice. The Can Stop, One Stop one could be a bit lighter, and I'm just mixing it with the um, the Catrice one because it's too light for me. So it gives me a great blend when I mix them together, and the formulas of both are great. I'm just gonna pick up a lighter shade in the NYX one, and I also use that concealer to neaten the corners of my eyes to create this this defined sharp cat eye look with the shadows because i'm not doing anything to the bottom of my eyes so i'm blending that now with my beauty sponge to get a nice highlighted under eyes you could go in with tape if you want to create this kind of crisp um eye with your shadows i just did not use tape today that's just a easier way to clean it up so i'm taking my time and i'm blending that then I'm using this brush to just neaten it up even more. Make sure that it's real sharp and clean. Now I'm going to contour with my ColourPop um, stick foundation in a darker shade. I think it's 197 dark. And I'm applying that to the areas that I want to recede. And to bring definition and dimension back into my face. buffing it off with a cheek brush and i'm buffing upwards <laughs> then i'm doing my jawline this just creates the illusion of a sharper jawline and gets rid of any double chin you might be experiencing that surgery in a bottle or surgery in a stick <laughs> Then I'm going to do the same thing to my nose. This is just going to create the illusion of a slimmer nose of a nose job. And around my lips, I'm going to press that in with the, the sponge with the side that has the foundation in it already. This is just going to create a fuller effect of my lips. Then I'm just going to go over everything and make sure everything is blended and seamless. This also is going to um, absorb any excess product that's on my face before I actually set that with any powder. Make sure you get all the creases underneath your eyes before you're going with powder. You do not want to set creases. They will stay just, just, just like that. You want to get rid of all the creases. So I'm patting in my Sasha Buttercup powder underneath my eyes, uh, my nose, my chin, my forehead. These are the places where I get oily and the weather is changing. So my oils are coming through more. So I'm really pressing that in to lock that foundation in place. So it stays in place all day. Then I'm using this puff to bake those areas and I, I find using this puff gives me an even distribution of the powder and it works well in this, this um, the hotter months. I cannot do that in the winter months. It's too drying on my face but for now it works really well. Then I'm going to set the areas that I contoured with my um, Colourpop bronzer in Rodeo Drive. Just to add some more definition and so that the contour does not move throughout the day as well adding some blush when i have green i like using something of a peachy color on my cheeks so i'm using this elf quad and i mixed two colors one more peachy and one is more of a, a mauve color just to give me this nice effect going back in with the palette and i'm using chances are on a fluffy um brush and i'm gonna apply that on my uh, brow bones and in my inner corners just to give a little highlight and i chose this brush because i want it to be very diffuse i don't want anything to define now i'm going to set my face with my ColourPop also um setting spray i love that setting spray i fell in love with it 
and i'm gonna set my brows and my famous got to be gel you got to set your brows yep clumsy me applying some arm easy highlight to the tops of my cheeks my chin and my nose Then I'm gonna set my face again and when it's halfway dried, I'm gonna use that same damp sponge and press the product in. This is gonna melt everything into my skin, become one with my skin and it's also gonna absorb any excess powder from when I just applied the powder earlier on, especially underneath my eyes. This is a, just, um, just avoids everything looking cakey and just give you this nice skin like finish. I love that step. I'm going to apply some mascara. I'm using Colourpop Mascara, Voluminous Mascara. I love that mascara because um, I'm not in any lashes. So I'm just going to apply a couple coats to my top and my bottom lashes. And I am going to use a different one for my bottom lashes because I find that this one, although I love it, Voluminous, um, Voluminous, <laughs> sorry, I can't speak. <laughs> anyway, mascara that gives your lashes volume tends to um, transform my bottom lashes. So I do not like using those on my bottom lashes. Now I'm going to line my lip with my cork lip liner. And I'm using MAC Desire lip, um, Lipstick. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go over that with BM Minerals. Yes, lip gloss. I just want to create a nice soft brown, caramel looking brown. So the combination of that gave me the look that I'm going for. I, I felt it paired really nice with my eyes and that's the completed look. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next tutorial very soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Okay, so that's a completed look using green i think my next color would be blue but comment down below what color you want to see me continue in using the rainbow series hi if you're new here my name is rachel everything i use will be in the description box down below should be oh so be <laughs> everything i use will be in the description box down below so be sure to check that out all my links all my social media links and how to book me because i am a nail technician and a working makeup artist out here in brooklyn so uh be sure to check that out and let's continue to um, touch the wall one face at a time. And I'll see you in my next tutorial on possibly Wednesday, but Sunday for sure. <laughs> Bye, guys.